In this question, it says for the transformation w is equal to 1 over 2 minus z, where z does not equal 2, show that the image under t of a circle sent i radius 2 in the z plane is a line l in the w plane. Then we're asked to sketch l on an Argon diagram. So if we've got a circle center O radius 2 in the z plane, we can express this now as the modulus of z is equal to 2. We're going to come back to this shortly. What I'm going to do is write this out and make z the subject. So w is going to be equal to 1 over 2 minus z. Multiplying both sides by the denominator and dividing through by w, we can have 2 minus z will be equal to 1 over w. Rearranging, z will be equal to 2 minus 1 over w. On the right hand side now, I'm going to get a common denominator. So z will be equal to 2w minus 1 over w. At this stage, I'm going to take the modulus of both sides. So we're going to have mod z will be equal to the modulus of 2w minus 1 over w. On the right hand side, we can split that modulus up. So we can have now mod z is equal to the mod of 2w minus 1 over the mod of w. I'm now going to make the substitution. We know mod z is equal to 2, so on the left-hand side, I'm simply going to write 2. So 2 is going to be equal to. And at this stage, I'm going to take 2 out of the numerator. So if I take 2 out of the numerator, we can express this as mod 2 multiplied by the mod of w minus 1 half. And that's all over now mod w. There's a few different ways around at this stage. We don't have to go that way, but that's one particular approach you can take. Multiplying both sides now by mod w, we're going to have 2 lots of mod w is going to be equal to 2 lots of the mod of w minus 1 half. Quite clearly we can divide both sides by 2, so we can have mod w is equal to the mod of w minus 1 half. This is going to give us a perpendicular bisector in the w plane. So if we put this on, what we're going to have are two points. We're going to have the origin, and then we're going to have on the real axis the point 1 half. So this is going to be 0. This is going to be the point one half. This now is the u, and then this is the v axis. So what we can do is put the perpendicular bisector of those two complex numbers, and that perpendicular bisector is going to sit just here, and we can say that L has the equation, and that isn't really too straight, let's just straighten that up. Uh, we can say that L, the equation of L, is going to be u is equal to one quarter. So let's put that on there, u is equal to one quarter. So that now is the equation of line L in the W plane.